Well, hello and the very warmest of welcomes to all who have joined us for what is arguably the ultimate game. The end of the road to European glory. It has been coming for so long, but now for these players, for these supporters, it has finally arrived. The final hurdle. And just one question remains. For whom is football coming home? The match day noise at this place is truly special. The pride, the passion, it adds to a massive sense of occasion. No question, this is huge. You are amongst hundreds of millions viewing the greatest event of the summer, no doubt. Well, Peter, the build-up to this game has been absolutely fantastic. All I'm hoping for is a final where both sides do play to their strengths. I mean, the managers did say they were both eager to come out and play. Here's hoping they're true to their word now. Well, if you did just miss it, we are up and running already. Yeah, I think I'll be keeping a keen eye, Peter, on the early exchanges here. Both managers did emphasise their eagerness to get on the front foot, so we'll see how true to their word they are. Well, both teams are proceeding with caution, but there's plenty of time to wait for some attacking purpose. Hernandez. Griezmann. Zaire Emery. Oh, dear, less said about that pass, the better. Vitinha. And Dallo. And it's Bernardo Silva. Mbappe. Griezmann. And the ball's a good one. He's got the shot away! Goal! France! Big moment. Big goal. Big lead. Well, there's always a chance of being caught like that when you surrender the football. France have their opener. It is a goal of real significance. Well, talking about big game mentality, here we go. And if you have just joined us, still just one goal between them. 1-0 the score. Koundé. France really should be happy to let this half run out now and, and go again second. Pepe, Vitinha to Bruno Fernandes. Distributed tidily. Gets a good foot in there. Diogo Dallo made a surge from fullback as it turned out unsuccessfully. Turns back here, probably the best option. Kunde. There will be one minute at a time. Zaire Emery. And here's Griezmann. Vitinha. Whistle's gone. And we've reached the halfway point of the final. Steady, solid, and for now, where they want to be. Just one goal, and they have it. Good effort from both sides, but at half-time, it is 1-0. Half time in the final, Jim. How do you read it? France have the lead, and obviously it's going to be the happier dressing room at half time. But it'll be interesting to see what they do second half. I really think that they should push on and do more of what we saw as we approached half time. France, the happier of the teams, heading in for half time, one nil up. And we're already back underway here. 
Well, one nil may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. And the ball's come loose here. And here's Dembele. Ruben Diaz gets rid without sophistication. Some really good ball movement. Another pass just keeps it ticking over. And he's gone backward here. Nice interception, well timed. Still just the single goal between... Hits one! He's having a go! The attendance for this match was Oh, that is rather wayward. Well, it was hit with great power, Peter, but sadly, not great precision. Bruno Fernandes. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, the message they're sending out now is pretty loud and clear. Let's grab a second goal and, and give ourselves an element of comfort. Portugal have a free kick. And no surprise, that's a booking. That's panic, Peter. I can understand why he felt the need to do that, but not the sort of mistake you want to make in a final. delivers Portugal showing a little more urgency now and to be honest Peter this is what's required they're coming again and again well the question now is whether they can sustain it swept in Vitinha just a quarter of an hour to play. He ran himself into trouble there, free kick given away. Substitution for Portugal, number 17, Rafael Leão. Number 23, coming on the field, number 21, Bruno Fernandes. Matthias Nunes pickles his way through, and he's found a way past. Chouameni, and it's Dembele. And he's forced to go back. He is through here. Griezmann. Shooting chance! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Substitution for Portugal, number 10. Well, there's going to be another change here. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded and. As a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it. And I think that's happened in this case. France probably could have killed things off, but they should be OK be three here. Minutes at a time. In with the challenge. Now it's Griezmann. Zaire Emery. Griezmann. There it is, kings of Europe. That is what they are. Truly amazing moment for all involved here. Smiles and tears wherever you are. Yeah, this is something that not many get to experience, Peter. Winning a trophy is one thing, but for your country, that makes it all the more special. And I think the right team won in the end. I love the great character and personality they showed when it was really called upon. Very, very apt summary, Jim, and the perfect tone on which to end. And so it is time to bid you farewell.
Please be reminded that drinking is only allowed in the areas shown on this map. Thank you very much for your cooperation.